we've already kind of started prepping, prepping because um, it can take a long time to cook Thanksgiving dinner. But this year, we're staying at home and we're not cooking for a lot of people, just everybody in the house. So we are gonna just whip something up real quick. And guess what? We're gonna doctor up some old recipes that my grandmother passed down from, to us. And we're gonna make them our own. And we're gonna cheat just a little bit because we're not going to be cooking a full uh, turkey. We're doing the chicken. Um, and it's already pre-cooked, so we've already cheated just a little bit. And then we are using um, stove top stuffing. So we're not gonna be making the original stuffing. Usually we would, but this Thanksgiving, since it's just us here, we're not going to be making too much food. Right, Melanie? Yeah. yeah. All right, so first what we have is we're gonna be making some cornbread because we do do cornbread stuffing here. So I'm gonna be mixing the stove top the stuffing, yes. which is this right here. I'm gonna mix it with the cornbread, and then we're gonna bake it. I've already followed the instructions, and we already have it on the stove. We've already got it cooked. Woo. See there? It looks really good. So we've already got that cooked. So yeah. we're gonna um, just leave that on the stove. We are going to be having sweet potatoes. Ooh, and Ooh. sweet potatoes. Yes, Melody's gonna mash those. We have sweet potatoes. We are going to we have our noodles for our mac and cheese. We already boiled our noodles. We're going to be doing something a little bit different because we usually use elbow noodles, but for this time, we're actually going to use the penne noodles for our macaroni and cheese. Wow. So, we already cooked them, so they're already almost done. Um, we're almost halfway done with macaroni and cheese. So, we have our noodles that are already cooked, that are ready to go. We have our boiled eggs. We're actually making double eggs, which are our favorite. We love them. So, we're going to make them. We make them every Thanksgiving. And so, and then we have our cheesecake to make for our dessert. Melanie loves cheesecake, right? Yeah! Is it this is cheesecake? Yes. I love cheesecake. I know, she loves cheesecake. So we're gonna make sure we have cheesecake. And then we have our chicken already cooked over here. And so now all we have to do is just get it ready. So mommy's gonna be mixing up the cornbread. Cornbread. Okay, go ahead and do the brown sugar. 
Well, I just rinsed this out real quick. It doesn't really matter if the cornbread sticks to the pan because mom is actually going to put the cornbread inside the stove top. Stepping, right? This one right here. So because I'm putting that inside there, it doesn't matter if it crumbles or anything like that. I just need it to be nice. So that way we can make sure we still have that same taste of a cornbread stuff. Now the stove top stuffing mix that we got, it was a chicken because we're having chicken instead of turkey. Do you like chicken or you like turkey better? I've never tried turkey yet. You have tried turkey, what? <laughs> <laughs> you tried turkey last year, we had turkey last year. You don't remember that big huge bird on the table? them up but because mommy went to Georgia I learned a different way to do it which is like mashing up the sweet potatoes which is also pretty good too but I'm not gonna make a lot because like we said there's not a lot of people in the house so we don't want to cook too much food because me and Melanie can't eat all this food by ourselves okay so now that it's mashed up and we're putting it into the pan we have our cinnamon in there, we have our brown sugar, we have our butter. Uh, mommy? Yes. I think I put too much marshmallows. No, you're good, you, you didn't put too much marshmallows. All right, now we're gonna put the marshmallows on top. What are you, what are you doing? You're gonna, see, that was a good one. Look, you did it, see, this is how we're doing it. 
You gotta put them on there like this. It's almost like you're doing a little decoration. All right, Melanie is gonna be cutting them, or Mommy's gonna be cutting them. Melanie, you put them on, okay? Because we gotta go a little bit faster. We have to get this Thanksgiving dinner done by lunchtime. So. We can, you can use a butter knife, a plastic knife as well. Melanie's gonna finish putting these um, marshmallows on there. While Melanie's doing that, mommy has to get the cheese sauce ready for the macaroni and cheese. All right, we're gonna be right back. Milk in a can. Whoa. Did you know milk comes in a can? No. Yes. Can I see? Yeah, it's in a can. So we're gonna put that on and we're gonna put it over the stove so we can start making our cheese sauce for macaroni and cheese. Yeah, you did a good job, Melanie. Whoa, that's a good job with the sweet potatoes. I can't wait for us to cook it. Alright, so now mommy's gonna so now she opened her can, she's gonna just put it in the pot. Mommy, I it's slippy. It's slippy. It's slippy. And Melanie's gonna get mommy. It's gonna get the rest of the butter that we didn't use, and then we're gonna put that in the pot too. We need to lots of butter. Lots okay. of butter for our macaroni and cheese. Okay, so we put the whole thing in there. Yes. After you done with the meal. No, oh, you can put it in now. There's enough milk in there. Nice 
Oh, we have we some marshmallow. Oh, you want to have marshmallow? Mm -hmm. All right. So now that we've had got this out of the way, we're going to put these dishes in the sink so we can start making our next dishes. We have a lot to do. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to do. Because we like cornbread stuffing. Or what, oh. you want mommy to save you a little piece? Yes. Okay, I'll save you a little piece. Let me call a little piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to put it on the same plate. I know, because we don't want it. I don't want it uh, because. So with this rest of it, you can just slice it up. We're going to. It actually doesn't matter what it looks like because we're going to put all of this inside. Alright, now we're going to mix it up. Melanie's going to mix corn it up. Cornbread stuffing. It's a lot of cornbread. I think it's going to taste good. Yes, it is. So since um, she's mixing that up, Mommy's going to go ahead and get the cheese sauce. And guys, I made some healthy popsicles. Yes, it's in the freezer. Oh, okay. Is that for Thanksgiving? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, so mommy's mixing up the cheese sauce and um, for the macaroni and cheese. So one of the things that I like to do in my macaroni and cheese is I like to put different types of cheeses in it. So I start with the powdered cheese, and that is just usually the regular craft powdered cheese. I put that in me, and then I mix it up, and then I'll tell you the next cheese that I use. Oh, you put powdered cheese? Yes, powdered cheese. Ooh, that's Yeah, you guys should come and see. my macaroni and cheese super super cheesy I never ate so much cheese mm -hmm. Ooh, you gotta kind of spill some yeah I spill a lot of it's gonna turn too hard <laughs> no because it's just no, it's gonna be a little bit of my dough alright so that's mixing up we're gonna let that boil for a little bit are you done mixing yours and I think uh, I think one is running. All right, let me know if you need help. Mommy's gonna now put the next sauce in it. I actually have the Velveeta um, cream sauce that Ooh, we're gonna use. That's, that's better than any kind of. That's the creamy cheese. We're gonna put this creamy cheese next. The Vita cheese. The Vita. <laughs> the Vita cheese. I the think Vita I cheese. think that's why you like it. I do like it. All 
Alright, so I'm just mixing that in. You also want to keep mixing it up because you don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pan and burn the cheese. Alright, with this you can always take like a knife or something and scoop it out because sometimes it can't get stuck. Alright, let mommy put this in real quick. Or... Yes. Well, how much is this? This is a 
butter knife for butter. And we're going to, mommy's going to show you. Show them how much this is. All right, let me show you. This is what we're going to do. We're going to take it and we're just going to do a little slice. Oh. And then you're going to put it in the corners of the pasta. Okay. Slice. Make sure that you have somebody watching. Alright, so we have our cheese sauce. Now we're gonna add a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Now I'm making this a little bit. Whoa! <laughs> uh, mozzarella cheese. It didn't seal. It's in its own package, guys. Just to add another cheese. Yeah. And then we're going to put the cheese sauce on top of it. And cheese! Alright, so while mommy's doing so we're going to go ahead and check the and the stuffing and the cooking. Alright, so now we're finished almost doing the cheese sauce. It looks like the mozzarella cheese is in there. Everything's good. Alright, do you already have the butter put? I don't think he's hungry yet. Is the butter ready though? After she finished putting that, we're gonna take some of this, the Mexican blend. So, this is another cheese. And then, but I have the same with the old one, but it is tiny. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take the, um, the Velveeta that we I have I think left. I got the big one. That's a big one. You don't need that much butter. That's way too much butter. I know, but, but you said you want On butter. every side, but you got, you got enough. All right, so then this is what mommy does to make it extra cheesy. Mommy actually does, puts like, cuts the mozzarella, the Velveeta cheese. Whoa, 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 yummy, yummy. If yum. you look, we put it in like chunks. Uh, I think you're stepping on the food. Oh, so, Sophia's trying to get to the food under my feet. She can, she's like, allergic for some food. Sophia. She's hungry. She's hungry. I don't get anything skinny. Okay, so we put the cheese on there. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to put a little bit of the shredded cheese. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put a little bit of the shredded cheese on the side. Just a little bit. And then we're gonna put a little bit of the mozzarella cheese on it. Uh, yes. That's a big chunk <laughs> of cheese. That's a big chunk of cheese. So we got that done. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to put the cheese sauce. All right, Mel, stand back. Woo! Ooh, creamy, creamy cheese sauce. Whoa! I think you made a coat. Okay, now we're gonna put the last time on, 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 on. We both had it a tie, and I think I know why. Okay, so now we have the cheese sauce that's on there. Now we're gonna put more noodles on top. What can I do? Mm-hmm. All right, now we're gonna put more butter. More butter on top, Mel. Right, while, Ma while Melanie's checking and putting the butter on there, Mommy is gonna go ahead and um, check on the oven. Alright, so Mommy's gonna go ahead and check on the oven. Alright, so Mommy's gonna go ahead and check on the oven. It's looking good and it's smelling good. Looking good. I think so. Okay. Yep, and then um, we're gonna put my butter in this corner. Yeah, this is a big it's a big piece of butter. <laughs> what in the world? I did that in half. <laughs> wow, that was a big piece of butter. I'm sorry. It's okay. Well, I'm glad we got the macaroni and cheese.
And look at all that cheesy sauce. Whoa! Cheese explosion. So now we're gonna just put more cheese. Let's cheese it up. Oh, we got the mozzarella cheese on top, and then we can put the Mozzarella cheese. Uh, Mexican cheese on top. And now we'll. That's weird. Put cheese, 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 cheese on top of cheese. Cheese on top of cheese. Cheese, cheese, more cheese, one more, more. Macaroni cheese. No, because it was stuck together. It was yeah. stuck. It does. Sometimes cheese can get stuck together because it if it melts together. You just gonna rub it a little bit. You know. Yeah, That's a lot of cheese. It is cheese tastic. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Cheese horrific. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so cheese now we cheese delicious. Cheese delicious. <laughs> All right, so now we know that there's yeah, a lot of cheese, yeah, 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 yeah. and this looks so good. We did a good job, now. So this is definitely different than what I would, my normal recipe, but I'm glad we tried something different. So let's put this in the oven so it can bake. Whoa, is, this thing is heavy because it's so full of cheese. I, I don't know, when I was sweeping. All right, so now there is other things in there. So let's go ahead and take those out. It came out really good. Whoa. Let's put it away here. No, because we still got more stuff to make. We're gonna put it right here. And then let's check on the stuffing. The stuffing still has a little bit of time to get a little bit browner. Now we're gonna put the mac and cheese. Now it's, first it was two things and now it's two things. Macaroni and cheese that we didn't eat. Ooh, cheesy. 
in the refrigerator. And then we're going to get started on the cheesecake. For the cheesecake. All right, so the first thing we need to do is the cream oh. cheese. Mommy had to melt it down a little bit because it needs to be room temperature, but we had it in the refrigerator. So we need to put it I there. love this. Um, it keeps coming down. And then we also want to put some heavy whipped cream. Oh, this is how you make it. This is the cream that you need to make with cream. Like, that's good enough. That's the cream you make with cream. Mm -hmm. And then also, you're supposed to put some lemon juice in it, but we don't have lemon juice. But we have lemons. All right, that's good. We don't want it too lemony. And it's going to be too sour. Yeah, too sour. All right, so with that, we also need a little bit of pure vanilla extract. Oh, came out, so it came out, all right. And then we also have to put in our condensed milk. This is more milk in a can, did you know that? It's sweet milk, that's what they use to make like more milk. Oh. It's, it's dropping like caramel. I know. All right, that's enough. But there's still more. There's still more. All right, it's gonna be super sweet. You might have to put a little bit more lemon in to cut out the sweetness of the condensed milk. I like how it moves. Mm -hmm. All right, that's enough. We don't want it too sweet. All right, let's put a little bit more lemon in because we got to have to cut out the lemon juice because we have to cut out some of that. Don't drop any seeds in there. Oh no. so that way it can become really flat. We're gonna put the top on top of it and we're gonna put it in the refrigerator so it can become nice and firm so we can eat it later. Cause we're gonna eat that after we eat. Yeah. All right, after we put the top on, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator and then we're gonna check on the rest of the food. It should be done, it's almost lunchtime. She's passing them to me. I am cutting them and putting them in the tray. Um, so it's two different kinds of slides. Yeah, they have a little bit of the green color in them still because um, from the egg yolk. But what I usually do is just mash it down. 
potato. We mix it together, mash it down, and then we're gonna stuff it back inside the eggs to make our delights. And that is it. Ta -da -da. Uh, I think you made some uh, stuff. Yeah, too. she's right. We need some other stuff. So we have some Miracle Whip, we have some mayo, we have some relish to go inside, and we're gonna put some paprika on top. And then mommy has her special ingredient, but I can't tell y'all because it's a secret. But I look at it, I'm gonna know, I think I'm gonna know. Oh, you can know because you are gonna pass it down and pass it down and pass it down. All right, people in my family love my double eggs and they come from near and far to get them. So I can't tell them my secret, otherwise they won't come see me. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go ahead and whip these up and then we're gonna show you all the food that we made and sit down and eat. Right, now that I've added my secret ingredients and Molly closed her eyes, so she's acting like maybe she doesn't know. Um, so now we're going to put the rest of the ingredients in. Sweet relish <laughs> inside. All right, mix it up. Mix, mix, mix it up. Mix, mix, mix it up. While Melanie's doing that, I'm checking on the green beans because we have to have some green. And I But green. this is green. And it's kind of like a yellow. It's green and yellow. Yeah, I love it. All right, the green beans look good. Oh, we gotta stir that a little bit more. Stir it up, stir it, stir it, stir it, stir it, stir it. And then we gotta have the paprika to go on top. Paprika. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that it. Yeah, yeah. We still have to make sure it's nice and whipped before we can put it. Wait, so, whip clean. Yeah. Whip, whippy clean, whippy, whippy, whippy. Oh, a little bit more. Let me do it real quick. Wet, whoopee clean, whoopee, whoopee, whoopee clean. All right, so now that it's whipped, we're going to start. Go ahead and put it inside. Whippy clean, whippy, whippy clean. Our eggs, mommy broke that one a little earlier. Melanie said it looked like an E. <laughs> check on the green beans. Whip, whippy clean, whippy, whippy, whippy clean. Whip, whippy clean, whippy, whippy, whippy clean. Whip, All right, let's clean, go faster. Cause mommy's starting to get hungry. All this food. You hungry. It's making me hungry. Okay. Almost done. So since these are done. You got my sticker recipe. Mm-hmm. We're gonna put a little bit of the paprika on it. Some people say paprika, but I'm just I'm just gonna tell you one. Of the uh, the first one is not the secret. The second one is the secret. Oh, okay. It's applesauce. What? You got applesauce in it? Mm -hmm. All right. Next one. Oh, we're already done. We can't put no, too much on there. All right, we're done with the, the double eggs. <laughs> are finished. Alright, I'm ready to eat. Thank you for joining us. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Goodbye. Bye. She is so silly. <laughs> bonk, bonk.